Let me give you one more problem, okay? So look at that, 1.08 to the 5. Well, you can try to find the exact value. You can do it, okay? But keep that in mind. You have to multiply 1.08 five times, okay? But be careful. If you just made a silly mistake, you cannot get the exact value, okay? So, well, it is doable, but like it also, we don't have to get like that exact value, but we can use the linear approximation system, okay? So, let me uh, try to figure that out, okay? Here we go. So for this function, uh, this value, that we have to decide the function and the point as well, okay? So think about it. Definitely your function will be x to the 5, okay? And which point will be near and which is like well known? It is 1 to the 5. 1 to the 5 equal to 1. That's why we can choose a is equal to 1. Is it okay? So now we can start from here, okay? So what is the linear approximation for this function at that point? Linear approximation Lx is equal to f of 1 plus f prime of 1 times x minus 1, okay? We need f of 1 and f prime of 1, okay? f of 1 is 1 to the 5, which is 1, and f prime x is equal to, by the power rule, is 5x to the 4, then f prime of 1 is 5 times 1 to the 4, which is 5. Now we are ready, okay? Then we can update my linear approximation Lx as uh, 1 plus 5 times x minus 1. That's it. We don't have to make as the slope intercept form, okay? And this is perfect form, okay? So now, let me try to approximate 1.08 to, to the 5, okay? So here we go. 1.08 to the 5, that is exactly equal to f of 1.08. 0, 8, okay? So this Lx is the linear approximation for the function f near 1, right? So now it is an approximation L of 1.08, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to plug in 1.08 into my linear approximation, okay? That is equal to 1 plus 5 times 1.08 minus 1, right? So that is equal to 1 plus 5 times... 0.08. Does it make sense? And multiply 5, then is 0.4, right? 1 plus 0.4, which is 1.4, okay? So now my answer is, my approximation is 1.08 to the 5 can be approximate, uh, approximated by 1.4, okay? So if you double check with calculator, it will be different value with this, okay? But again, this is just approximation, okay? So if you want to get like better approximation, you should do the quadratic approximation or Taylor's things, okay? So we're going to talk about that in calculus too, okay?